Hey, good evening. Glad to see so many people are ready and here to go. That's great. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, hey. so how was everybody's day today? Crazy. Crazy. Why? Because I work uh, with a disaster response and the, the hurricane uh, Bonnie did a lot of uh, damage. So mm -hmm. it's been pretty crazy. In which area of the country? Uh, mostly a central and and western area of the country. Okay. So do you have to travel then? Yeah, but uh, today we did uh, all the logistic work from the area office here in San Salvador. And how do you feel? You feel that, that you guys are going to give a good response? <laughs> we better. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are looking at it, uh, at uh, civil protection and making sure that everything is being done correctly. Although oh, but, I, but, I saw but, many... But, but I don't work with civil protection. I work with a, with an NGO that we, we work with civil protection, yeah. Oh, okay. What's the NGO? Uh, Habitat for Humanity. Oh, I know which one it is. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. They have, but you guys, and what is your, what is your, your objective in these types of situations? To provide like a safe home mm -hmm. for uh, people affected by, by disaster. In this, in this context, yeah. So uh, if the people were affected by the disaster, you you help them build a home you provide them uh shelter or, or, or what, what is the what do you do mm -hmm. we we build homes we provide like financial aid and, and credit for the construction of the of the of the home yeah okay okay so quite a bit so it it's a a lot of logistics involved right you got to do a lot of different things yeah basically yeah Mm hmm Okay. Anybody else? How else was your day? Well, for me, teacher, it was a typical day. I work in the morning. I worked in the morning, and I go to the gym in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, do you go every day? Do you go to the gym every day? No, three times per week. Okay, what, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays? Yeah, yes. Uh -huh. That's what I imagine when you said three yes. times per week. Ah, that's usually the, the routine people like. <laughs> yeah. Arabic class. Oh, okay. It gives you a chance to release your stress. Yes. Okay. Anybody else? What else did happen today? Woo. I, I, I see we like to talk in advance three. All right. Everybody's so excited to get together and to talk every day, right? Ha, let's do it then. All right, Luis, how are we? I see you got your t-shirt on, look like relaxed mode. Uh, it seems like you're ready to have a nice night afterwards, watch some TV, go to bed. Well, um, my day is uh, very occupied with my job. Very busy? Busy, yes, of course. Um, now they, I, am, I am working in Cotepeque, uh, Cuscatlan department. Every day uh, I, I travel from San Salvador to go to Pique. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a little, it, it, it's a little far, right? At San Salvador, you have to go to Boulevard Venezuela, Boulevard uh, the Ejército. You have to go through all of that, or yeah, yeah. Uh, with uh, with uh, the public transportation, we have an excellent public transportation for me, right? Because uh, it's frequently to use uh, uh, that service. Yeah. Mm, okay. I imagine mm -hmm. it's a good service because you're going in the opposite direction of the traffic. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because uh, when when I, I left the San Salvador department, yeah, everybody inside to a San Salvador department too, that they work. Uh -huh. So everybody's trying to come to San Salvador and you're leaving San Salvador. So for you, nah, there's uh -huh. not a lot of stops and a lot of things that, that make it busy, right? Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, good. Guys, yeah. we're gonna, it's, thank you, Luis. Thank um, you, for you. So we're gonna go ahead and continue. Um, similar to what Luis is talking about yesterday, we were talking about typical, right? How typical or how common are you? If you remember, we were playing, uh, I never have I, or I have never, right? I have, I have never. So today we're going to listen to a couple of people. We're going to listen to Joshiko, Renato, and Suzanne. And we're going to see if they think they are more typical or different than people their age. So this is 1.5. I want you to listen and write down what they say, OK? Are they different or typical for each one? We're going to listen to the three people. What do they say and when they compare themselves? Do you think Yoshiko, Renato, can, is the volume okay? Can you hear it? Yes. Yes? All right. Go yes. No, and Suzanne believe they are more typical or different from most people their age. One, Yoshiko. In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we will start track. And oh yeah, I love hip hop music. It drives my parents crazy. There's one big way I'm different though. I spent almost six years living outside Japan. My father's company transferred him overseas to Mexico. And of course we went with him. Fitting into a foreign culture was really tough at first, but I guess I'm lucky in the way. I learned to speak Spanish fluently and I made a lot of good friends there. We still email each other almost every day. So you can see that I'm really quite a bit different from my classmates. Two. Renato. I don't know. My life is pretty typical, I think. I head off to school at 7 in the morning, and school finishes around the middle of the afternoon. After school, I usually study or play soccer. On weekends, I like to get together with my friends. We usually hang out in one of the shopping centers. Everyone just shows up there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's a lot of fun. Most of the time. I think one way I'm kind of different is that I like to to do my own thing sometimes. I don't always want to hang out with the group, you know? My friends always want me to hang out with them, but I don't always listen to what they say. I guess you could say that I think for myself. Sometimes it makes my friends upset, but too bad. That's just the way I am. But really overall, I think I'm pretty typical for my age. Three, Suzanne. I guess I worry about the same things other kids my age do. You know, grades and getting along with my parents and stuff like that. I guess I'm doing okay in school, but I have to study really hard. I just want to make sure that my grades are good enough so I can get into a decent university. I'm pretty much like everyone else. I go to classes, attend club meetings after school, and then do my homework at night. Weekends are great because I get to sleep late. And, uh, oh yeah. I'm also a member of the orchestra at school. I play the violin. My school is a little different from other schools in the U.S., though. 
We study all the core subjects like most other students. In the morning, science, math, English, history, the usual stuff. But unlike the other schools, we study things like music, dance, and art in the afternoon. See, I go to a special school for the arts. A lot of us have dreams of becoming dancers or singers someday. That's why we spend so much time learning about the arts. So, yeah, I guess my life is pretty different from most kids my age. Okay. How do you feel? Confident? One more time. We're okay. For me, one more time. No problem. No problem. That's the idea is to try to get as much information and write it down. Okay. Let's let's try one more time. Before we listen again, give me your idea. What what do you think? We're gonna listen again and check. But what do you think? Yoshiko is typical or different? Okay, no idea for Yoshiko, no problem. What about Renato? What do you think? Was he typical or different? Typical teacher. He was typical, okay. All right, what about for Suzanne? Different. Different. Okay, okay. Also, all, all Yoshiko, different, people, right? different. Okay, yeah. different. All right, let's listen and check. Let's see if you change your opinion after listening again. Do you think Yoshiko, Renato, and Suzanne believe they are more typical or different from most people their age? 1. Yoshiko In some ways, small ways, I'm just a typical Japanese teenager. I go to high school five days a week, just like everyone else. I have interests similar to most of my friends. A bunch of us join the sports club at school. Right now, it's our volleyball season. When the weather gets nicer, we will start track. And oh yeah, I love hip hop music. It drives my parents crazy. There's one big way I'm different though. I spent almost six years living outside Japan. My father's company transferred him overseas to Mexico. And of course we went with him. Fitting into a foreign culture was really tough at first, but I guess I'm lucky in the way. I learned to speak Spanish fluently, and I made a lot of good friends there. We still email each other almost every day. So you can see that I'm really quite a bit different from my classmates. Two. So number one was? Different. Different, different. okay. So, all right, good. Let's listen number two. Renato. I don't know. My life is pretty typical, I think. I head off to school at 7 in the morning, and school finishes around the middle of the afternoon. After school, I usually study or play soccer. On weekend... Hmm. I don't know, it just stopped. Okay, let me open up another one. Do you think Yoshiko... It was really tough at first. After school, I usually study or play soccer. Okay. On weekends, I like to get together with my friends. We usually hang out in one of the shopping centers. Everyone just shows up there on Saturdays and Sundays. It's a lot of fun. Most of the time. I think one way I'm kind of different is that I like to, to do my own thing sometimes. I don't always want to hang out with the group, you know? My friends always want me to hang out with them but I don't always listen to what they say. I guess you could say that I think for myself. Sometimes it makes my friends upset, but too bad. That's just the way I am. But really overall, I think I'm pretty typical for my age. Three, Suzanne. So what it was number two? Typical. Typical, right? He says, yeah, most of it is very typical. Mm -hmm. mm, I guess I worry about the same things other kids my age do. You know, grades and getting along with my parents and stuff like that. I guess I'm doing okay in school, but I have to study really hard. I just want to make sure that my grades are good enough so I can get into a decent university. I'm pretty much like everyone else. 
I go to classes, attend club meetings after school, and then do my homework at night. Weekends are great because I get to sleep late. And uh, oh yeah, I'm also a member of the orchestra at school. I play the violin. My school is a little different from other schools in the US though. We study all the core subjects like most other students. In the morning, science, math, English, history, the usual stuff. But unlike the other schools, we study things like music, dance, and art in the afternoon. See, I go to a special school for the arts. A lot of us have dreams of becoming dancers or singers someday. That's why we spend so much time learning about the arts. So yeah, I guess my life is pretty different from most kids my age. Okay, what about the last one? Different? Yeah, because she's yeah. Very, a, a little bit different, right? So we got a couple of them, hang on. Let me move this over a little bit. There we go, okay. So we have uh, different, typical and different. Let's find out if we are correct or wrong, okay? Perfect. Different, typical, and different. Those are the ones that they talk about, okay? So now what we're going to do is think about you and your childhood and your life, okay? If you don't want to talk about your childhood, you can talk about your life. Are you typical or different than people your age? So as an example, Miguel, how old are you? Hey, teacher, I, I am 47 years old. 47? Yes. Okay, so Miguel is going to tell about his life to his partner and he's going to say, I think I'm similar or different or not. What do you think, Kalina? I'm asking my husband if he thinks I am typical or-, or No, or he thinks you are special. You're the princess. That's why he <laughs> married you. That, no, that's the, that is the correct answer of any man. No, 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 baby, you are not typical. You are the most marvelous woman in the world because you are my wife. That is the correct answer. That was his answer. That was. <laughs> he is a master. He's a master. You see? <laughs> and that's the idea. So right now with your partners, you're going to give, you're going to tell your partners and give your opinion. It's your opinion. Remember some of the vocabulary we learned from yesterday. Try to use it today. Unlike most people my age, I like to eat. Okay. While many people my age go to the, remember, try to use the vocabulary. The more you use it, the easier it is to remember, okay? If you don't remember, it's in the WhatsApp group, but try to use it as much as possible when describing yourself, your lifestyle, and how you are the same or different than people. Maybe you are same as many people your age, okay? I think I'm different, as an example. Unlike many Salvadorians, I like to drink smoothies every day. I have a smoothie uh, uh, package in my, in my fridge. I have mangoes and blueberries and pineapples and banana and peaches, and I create with milk and I create a smoothie every day I like to drink. Instead of having cookies or coffee, I, I prefer to drink something healthy. So I, un, that's why I use unlike, because I think I am different. If I thought I was the same, I would say, like many Salvadorians, I have pupusas for breakfast because I think I'm the same. Do you see how we're trying to use the vocabulary? So, so. Yeah, so the, the face is yeah. like, hey, le entendí, pero no sé si lo puedo hacer. That, that, that's, that's the face. What, what happened, guys? We can do it, yes or yes? We can do it? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. All yes. right, let's try it. Try it. Remember, it's you, your life, how you are the same or different, kind of like the examples that we listen to. Okay. Here we go. I'll give each group 10 minutes and let's go. Ok. 
Roxana, Marvin, you okay? Hello, the following expressions will help you express your ideas better. Stay connected, stay awake, keep up with, keep in touch. Expressions with keep and stay. Keep or stay in touch. Keep things in perspective. Stay awake. Keep up with. Keep or stay out of trouble. Keep something up. Keep or stay in touch. Take turns answering these questions. Type your answers on our discussion box. Then talk to your classmates in class. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? When you're stressed, can you keep things in perspective? After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? Do you ask for help if it is hard to keep up with a class? Do you break the rules or do you keep or stay out of trouble? What can students do to keep their grades up? Is it important for all friends to keep or stay in touch? Marvin, you okay? Guadalupe? Hello. The Marvin, Guadalupe. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you too, Guadalupe. I'm going to send you to the group. That way you can practice um, talking about how you are and if you're typical or not typical, all right? Okay. Okay, Marvin, do you have any problems? Hello, Hello teacher. Sí. Yes, yes, teacher. Let me try to reconnect you, okay? One more time. Okay. Let's try again. Alexander, you okay? The chair. Yes, Alexander. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, good. I'm going to send you to the group. That way you can participate with the partners, okay? Yes. Okay, good.
All right. So what do you think? What is the conclusion? Are you typical or not typical? Um, um, maybe I'll, I'll start. I'm pretty typical. <laughs> I'm basic. <laughs> Um, we were talking and we were in room four with Nuri, Mirna, and Marvin, and they are all different. And um, they were saying things like, um, I'm 52, I'm um, um, 40 years old, I'm learning English, and that's different from people my age, unlike people my age. And Marvin was also sharing about how he enjoys hiking and enjoys the nature. And he says that he likes go and hike by himself alone. And uh, we were actually making plans to go and hike the Santa Ana volcano already. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they are all, they are all <laughs> different and special. <laughs> okay, yeah. And, and to hike by yourself, it's, it's difficult because it's a lot of exercise. You have to be in good shape. Santana Volcano, Isalco Volcano, all of those. Yes. Okay. And Flor, do you feel you are typical that most people your age are learning English and working and doing yeah. what you do? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Anybody else would like to share? I, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. Flor. Why do you think it's normal or typical that people learn English? Really? Well, it's kind of like the second language here in El Salvador. Everyone needs to learn it to get better jobs. So I, I think it's getting more and more typical every year. Mm, <laughs> That's, I, I, I have... Guys, <laughs> guys, yes. In my, in my case, is not typical. Um, I'm 52 years old. So I think I'm different. Mm -hmm. I think you're right, Nuri. Most people are in El Salvador in this moment, most people more than 35 do not learn English. I know, teacher. Yeah. No, no, it's true. The majority, if you mm -hmm. look, if you look, 80%, 80% of the classes are people less than 35 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a small percentage, people yes. more. And then, and then usually the other 15% are people from 35 to 45. Mm -hmm. And then more than 45 is only like a small amount of people that want to learn English. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, in it's good. I, I think it's great. It's great that you are learning yes. English and other people are learning English. I love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. no, yes, it is true. It's great. But I don't know. It's a typical because I don't know how many people there are right now in El Salvador, for example, yeah, a seven uh, million or eight million people in El Salvador, or maybe, or, or for example, in San Salvador, I don't know how many people there are, but I don't know. It's, is the more people study or learn English. And I, I would like, really, mm -hmm. I, I, I feel good when, the, when Flor says, hey, okay, it's a, it's a typical person that people learn English, okay, good. But I, I don't know, I, I know sure about that, okay? <laughs> usually, it's, usually it's young people because it's free. If you are young, it's free for most people that are young and they don't have responsibilities. So it's very common for young people to learn because the parents, the mother, the father say, hey, you're not doing anything on Saturday. Go to the class. Go mm -hmm. for free. For example, where I live, I live in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. And in Santa Tecla has classes for free for mm -hmm. languages uh -huh. for the people. And Santa Tecla has a lot of free activities, uh, sports, volleyball, basketball, uh, skateboarding uh, not, uh, yeah no skateboarding roller skating um uh, basketball the karate uh swimming the, all, all of those are free chess mm -hmm. to, for the people to learn how to play chess all of those are free so it's very easy for for children in this area to receive mm -hmm. classes and one of the classes that the parents maybe not the children but the parents think hey 
from this, you can make money in the future. Not yes. from basketball, not from soccer, not from other, but from English, a, at least the people say, at least you know English. At least you can, at least <laughs> yes. you can work in a at call least, center. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I it's hear true. many times, por lo menos, at least he can work yes. in a call center. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> So, but it's great. I'm glad. I'm glad you had the opportunity. But more important, I'm excited that you are using the new vocabulary to make it part of your language, because that's yes. what you want. You want to expand every day a little bit. Now yes. we're going to continue looking at more vocabulary and more things that we can include in our language. We're going to look at expressions with keep and stay. Right now we're on 1.7 we're going to learn expressions with keep and stay. The following expressions will help you express your ideas better. Stay connected, stay awake, keep up with, keep in touch. Expressions with keep and stay. Keep or stay in touch. Keep things in perspective. Stay awake. Keep up with. Keep or stay out of trouble. Keep something up. Keep or stay in touch. Take turns answering these questions. Type your answers on our discussion box. Then talk to your classmates in class. When friends move away, do you keep or stay in touch? When you're stressed, can you keep things in perspective? After studying all night, how do you stay awake in class? Do you ask for help if it is hard to keep up with a class? Do you break the rules or do you keep or stay out of trouble? What can students do to keep their grades up? Is it important for all friends to keep or stay in touch? Okay, so before we can answer those, we need to make sure that it's clear these expressions. Do you understand this expression? Keep or stay in touch? Yes. Not, yeah. For yes. me, not teacher. For, for okay. example, with, with your friends? So exactly, with your friends or for friends from the school, from high school, if you continue to yes. communicate with your friends, this is keep or stay in touch. Mm -hmm. This is the, the idea of the expression, keep in touch or keep, stay in touch is keep. communicate, to still communicate. Yes. Okay. What about the other ones? Are the other ones okay? Keep things in perspective. But is this is this about the the, the context? Is about when about what we uh, we we talk, for example, because it's okay. Keep things in a perspective. Per, perspective. Perspective is <laughs> is is about the context because we talk and talk and talk. Ah, okay. Please, in that case. Keep a thing in purpose. It's not just ah okay. It's an expression when I use in in whatever uh, uh, thing. Yes, Correct. specifically. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so keep like for example, right now, uh, right now, uh, we had the the hurricane, right? So some ah, yeah. people say some people say I know uh, I I couldn't go to the movies because it was very. It was raining a lot. And then you tell the person, hey, keep things in perspective. Some people lost their house. Some people lost their lives. Mm -hmm. This is the, the expression. Mm -hmm. This is perspective. Okay. okay. What about the other ones? Stay awake in class. You can say also stay safe in the middle of the emergency. That's Especially right. Emergency. Stay That's safe. Right. That's mm -hmm. another way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So are these other expressions, are they okay? And what about keep up with? Ah, that is to continue. So I imagine I don't see you for some time. And I say, hey, did you, did you keep up with your English classes? Did you continue with your English classes? Um, Mm -hmm. uh, did you keep up with okay yeah or alex hey alex did you keep up with the gym did you continue mm -hmm. with the gym that you were okay. began 
Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Are the other ones are okay? Yes. Please keep out the trouble. Correct, correct. <laughs> so yeah. now we have many of these questions. These questions you can find in the WhatsApp group. If you don't have it, it's also, I also put them into the WhatsApp group. Okay. So right now with our partners, we want to answer them. Okay. You want to give your answers to all of those. Okay. A, when the friends move away, do you keep in touch with them and give details? For example, I say, um, is it Kalina? Is that right? Yeah, Kalina, yeah. No, yeah. Uh -huh. Kalena. Ka Kalena. All right, Kalena, when, you, when friends move away, do you, do you stay in touch? I, I used, yes, I try it, but okay. I, stay in, I keep in touch with them. Okay. Good. And the answer is correct, Kalena. The answer is correct. But what I want you to do is I want you to give me an answer. Like when you go to apply for a job, when you apply for the job, it's not only yes or no. It's yes, I, I stay in touch. In fact, I usually use a messenger. I use WhatsApp to communicate. I use, uh, I use uh, whatever it is that you want. My, the last time that I called my friend was last week because it was her birthday and she lives in Texas, but now we, that is the complete wow, answer. Okay. Because <laughs> when you go to a job interview, it's not, oh, do you have work experience? Yes, I yeah. do. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And the, it, it, what is your work experience? A, a lot. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not good for a job interview. So the idea is to prepare you to use the English, to use the English professionally. And the American culture is you give complete answers. So mm -hmm. in this moment, the same, yes or no, why, why not explain. So I'm gonna give you a few moments with our partner, with your partners, okay. answer those questions to the best of your ability. Remember, okay. the idea is to the best of your ability. Some of them are going to be no, okay. Some of them are going to be yes. Okay, but the idea is answer as complete as possible. Yes, any questions? No. No. No? No. All right, let's do it then. Roxy, are you okay? Okay.
Hey. Omi. You okay, Omi? Yeah, of course, teacher. I'm okay. I didn't. I, I'm glad to see you again that you continue with your English. Thank you, teacher. And I'm, gonna, I'm glad to see you again. How's work on me? <laughs> uh, I, I imagine the another classmates is uh, are in, in, in class. How do you say? Um, group, group, class yes, group in, class in the group. class group. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. No problem. I'm going to put you into the group. Okay, Omi. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Hi, what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play with dolls or marbles? Past habitual with used to and would. Used to and would can both be used to describe past actions or situations which are no longer true. However, would cannot be used with a stative verb such as live, be, have, or like. You always used to make me laugh. Classes didn't used to be so difficult. Remember the way we would sit around talking? I would see some great jacket, but you wouldn't let me buy it. If the sentence is affirmative, use used to. Example, I used to get up at 7 every morning. If the sentence is negative, use didn't plus used to or would plus not. Examples. I didn't used to oversleep so often. I wouldn't oversleep so often. Okay. So let's take a look at some of those questions with your partner. What did you decide over some of the things that you said or your partner said? Jose Roberto. All time break the rules. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. It, Robert, Jose Roberto is a good guy. And Kalina is a good friend. There you go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yes. You have you have to know which rules you can break. I think so. For example, in my job, supposedly I have to be on the office, uh, at the office or doing home office uh like half past seven in the morning mm -hmm. but for me that's is symbolic mm -hmm. right it's like a, a rule that i break i i will start working probably eight of the morning eight thirty or nine right after brunch and after that a, a nap why not so but but so that's a rule that I, that I, that I break, but also I, I work till, till five or till six or seven of the night and I don't care. So it's, yeah, so yeah, you can break all the rules. Just be smart. Yeah, I agree, Jose. I think so, I don't know, probably I'm wrong and that's a bad idea. It depends on your job. For example, in some jobs, is it doesn't matter the time. It only matters the objectives. In some jobs, it's not about the time. It's only that your 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 job, your objective is completed. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. It depends yes. on the job, and also, it, yeah, if you if you already did what you have to do, it's okay. Yeah, for example, my job is not permitted. It, I can't, but because it's not that I make my time. I my time my my time is for the other people so mm -hmm. if I am not here nobody else can continue but 
in a different job, for example, writing reports, sending emails, it doesn't matter if I send if I send Guadalupe the email first or Alexander or Luis, I can send in whatever order. And as long as I give them the information in time, I can do it later or earlier, or whatever. So mm -hmm. I think you're right, Jose. You have to know when it's correct to break and when is when you can't. Mm -hmm. Good. Anybody else would like to share? Teacher. Yeah. <laughs> uh with um, Miguel, we're gonna drink coffee for a stay awake in the class. No, the class is energy. Only the class alone is in energy. <laughs> you don't need coffee. <laughs> no, not, yes, teacher, I know, but we are I tired know. of I know. our jobs. Yes. <laughs> uh, Nuri, uh -huh. no, 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 go ahead, Nuri, finish. Okay, and, and two? We're, we're gonna stay out, keep a stay out of the, the trouble. We don't stay like- out of, Stay out of yeah. trouble. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. We don't like problems. <laughs> there you go. Nuri, who, who loves you? Who loves you, Nuri? <laughs> My, Jesus. Yeah, first, Jesus. <laughs> No, no, no. My family. I, I and asked my because, husband. Uh, because behind you, and behind you, it says in a big balloon. Te amo. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh, Nuri, who loves uh -huh. you? <laughs> and yesterday, uh -huh. yesterday, I didn't she, remember. She's a balloon lady. Yeah. <laughs> Nuri, who loves you? My husband, teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that is the name. That is the name now. My husband, Nuri. Mm -hmm. How long have you been married? Nuri? <laughs> How many years have um, you been married? Seventeen years old. Seventeen years. Seventeen <laughs> years married. Yes. Yeah. Wow, Nuri! Congratulations! It's a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a long time. It's a good. It's a good. Uh, like a, it's a good. I don't, how do you say? It's a little. It's no support, but your husband is a good guy. I know. Or Nuri is a great wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, both. Both for seventeen. Yes. Yes. Both. Yes, yes. I think. I think. Uh, Kalena said she was married too, right? I think I heard her say at the beginning of the class, I asked my husband. Yes, yes, I'm married. How long have you been married? Oh, 14. 14 years also. I never know. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. What? Really, Kalina? 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 I don't really? know. No, it no. depends the day. Some days married, some days no. I no, no, no. Ah, I, I like it, Kalina. I, I like the attitude. No, it's the, 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 the first time that. Kalina. 2008. 2008. 2008. 12, 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> Remain, you felt tower. Like 14 years, Kalina. Kalina. <laughs> Hay cosas que no se olvidan, pero eso sí se me olvida. <risa> Cuando te conviene. Estás casada, no me acuerdo. <risa> I like it, I like it. Uh -huh. Anybody else is married? Anybody here uh, besides the two ladies are married? Yes, I am yes. married. You are married. Yes. How married. long have you been married, Alex? 18. Yes. 18, 18, 18 years. years. Wow. Yes. yes. Imagine. And Roxana, I think, is married too, if I remember. No, teacher, I am single. Single, Roxana. Yes. Yeah. Roxana is younger. Ah, really? In the train, left. Le <laughs> <laughs> In the train. <laughs> I like the expression. I like the expression. All right. <laughs> So you see, guys, that's, that's the idea. The idea of the vocabulary, stay in touch, keep in touch, uh, all of these different expressions is this. It's just to use naturally when you're talking to your partners, when you're talking to your friends. The idea is just to try to use it. It's not always Breaking possible to use it, but the important is that you try to use it sometimes. Okay. 
just like the other vocabulary, right? So, if, for example, in El Salvador, it's important to, uh, you know, to stay out of trouble because it's very violent and you don't know who is going to be the other person. This yeah. is the idea, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to finish unit one. That way on Friday, remember, Friday we have class. On Friday, we can take the opportunity and review unit one and practice everything again orally, okay? okay. So tomorrow, we finish unit one, we wrap up and answer any questions. Try to work in the platform. That way, you are you don't fall behind, 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 okay? Okay. Thank All right, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Okay, guys. Thank you for your Thank time. You tomorrow. Bye. Have a Bye. great time. See you. Bye. See you guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.